Joseph Goebbels was born on October 29, 1897 in Ried, Germany. He grew up in a strict Roman Catholic family and was educated in a Roman Catholic school. He contracted polio as a child, causing him to have a clubbed foot. His physical inadequacy made him express self-hatred. This eventually caused him to hate the human race in general and made him have a need to destroy everything sacred to the people. He went to the University of Heidelberg where he studied history and literature. Professor Frederick Gundoff, who was a Jewish literary historian, taught him. After college, he tried to get enlisted in the military before World War I, but got rejected because of his clubbed foot. After being rejected, he joined the NSDAP in 1922, and in 1925, he was made business manager of the Ruhr District, and by the end of the year, he was principal collaborator of Gregor Strasser. He went on writing his novel, Michael Ein Dusches Schicks in Tetschbuch Blatter, which was published in 1926. This was just the start of his literary efforts. Goebbels founded and edited the National Socialistian Brief, also known as the NS Letters. These letters had a proletarian, anti-capitalist outlook that Joseph shared with the Strasser brothers. In 1926, he joined Hitler's party. Joseph rapidly started taking control of the party's press. The press was founded in 1927 and they published a newspaper, Der Angriff, also known as The Attack. This paper was edited by Joseph. Along with editing the newspaper, Goebbels designed posters, published propaganda, organized impressive parades, and made his bodyguards participate in things such as street battles, beer halls, and shooting affairs. He did this to increase his political agitation. Goebbels knew how to instill fear into the people. He used his skills to come up with slogans, myths, pictures, and spreading of morphisms, all to spread the idea of nationalism. Hitler became impressed by how fast Berlin became such a powerful organization. This made Hitler appoint Joseph Goebbels as the Reich propaganda leader of the NSDAP in 1929. Goebbels' influence on the country became apparent at the campaign elections in 1932, where Hitler became the center of the political stage. Since Hitler was now in charge, he gave the position of Reich Minister for Public Enlightenment and Propaganda to Goebbels. This position gave him an immense amount of power because he had total control over all communication media such as radio, press, publishing, cinema, and other arts. On May 10, 1933, Goebbels' plan of burning the books was executed. All the Jewish, Marxist, and other works of subversive authors were burned in a bonfire in the middle of the city of Berlin. For the next five years, Goebbels expressed much hatred towards Jewish people. On November 9th and 10th of 1938, the party leaders of the Nazis set fire and destroyed Jewish stores. This event was called the Kristallnacht. In 1942, the final solution was put into effect in Berlin. This evacuated all of the Jewish community into concentration camps where the strong would work and the weak would be killed. Joseph was a secret chief abettor to this plan. Once World War II started, Hitler and Goebbels got closer. Eventually, the Allied powers wanted the Germans to surrender, and Hitler and Goebbels needed to convince the people to put forth greater effort and never surrender. Goebbels then came up with his famous speech. On February 18, 1943, in Berlin, Joseph's speech created wild emotion that caused his listeners to agree with his idea of total war. How he convinced everyone to be on board with what he was saying was by putting fear in the listeners' eyes with things such as films and false information of secret weapons. In 1945, when the Russians were closing in on Berlin, Hitler committed suicide. This made Goebbels be appointed as Reich Chancellor. Joseph lost hope and with Russian troops closing in, he too thought the only solution was to end his family's life as well as his own. Therefore, Joseph Goebbels and his family died on May 1, 1945, when he had an SS doctor poison his six children by lethal injection, and under his orders, Joseph Goebbels and his wife were shot by an SS official.